Taurus, what's good guys? I hope you are well. Thank you so much for uh, watching Mama Faya Tarot. Uh, we are growing here and if I vibe with you as a reader, please hit that subscribe button and the like button so this video gets out to the people, you know, the people, all the people of YouTube. Um, and if you want a personal um, reading, sorry, my energy's a little off. Um, if you want a personal, you can check the description box below. I read for everybody in my wellness center. I am a lucky, lucky gal um, to be able to be featured in such a divine lineup of beautiful people who practice all kinds of modalities, so healing modalities. And I also read for Wissio, but I really do prefer the Zoom meetings. I find that uh, the more interactive, the better. But Wissio works too, so you can check me out on there if you prefer a video. All right, Taurus, this is going to be a love reading, the huge. Um, I think I'm going to do past life readings next week. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. I got this past life deck, and oh my God, I've been giving uh, past life readings to some of my clients, and I gave one to myself. They're actually hilarious and fun and deep. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. So I, I think I am going to stop featuring them on... Um, on the tube and you let me know Taurus in the comments if that's something that you would watch okay all right fabuloso this is for Taurus Sun Moon rising Venus North no Jupiter whatever uh, Taurus you've got my daughter's a Taurus North node so I don't know I'm, I'm, I, I gotta look that up more I think it has probably has something to do with um, her becoming a mother, I, I just, I, I have a strong feeling that she's going to be a real family-oriented person. Okay, here we go, here we go, Taurus, Taurus, I love you guys. You guys are like so psychic, it's crazy. All right, dear Father God, Mother Earth, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so mote it be. Ooh, all right, that was some good timing. Ooh, Taurus. I read this card as Aries or Taurus. You could be a cusper, um, but it's really time for you to take charge, bebe. Take charge. Um, and honor that inner knowing. Ooh, medicine mother came out. So funny, um, some of you Tauruses may indeed be mothers. Um, and it's funny that I was saying that about, about my daughter. Um, very mothering energy, very caring. But you also have a very strong intuition. I'm getting mother's intuition like that. It, it's like, like bull. It's, it's strong like bull, Taurus, like you. So, um, very good. Always follow that. Trust it. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Like, it's, it, I, ugh, ugh. when people try and make you question your own intuition, it really, it can jack you up. So watch that, Taurus, all right? All right, big baby. All right. Um, drop your shields. Don't be scared of anything right now. Okay, you're tough. Like bull. <laughs> so... Keep it moving. And you could be a man who actually has some strong nurturing instincts too. You may be a, a stay-at-home dad. You know, this mother thing, it, that, that's just an energy. So this isn't specific to gender at all. Um, ooh, bask and join light. Have fun. If you are home with the kids, have fun with that. Um, or if you work with kids, you know, really live out your inner child when you're with them. Play, you know, have fun. Get dirty, um, use Play-Doh, squish your feet in the sand, whatever. Just enjoy your time. Or if you're getting away for the Labor Day weekend, if you're in America, um, get out and, and do something. I mean, I know safely, of course. Yeah, you're going through some huge changes, though, Taurus. And you may have some Scorpio in your chat somewhere. Or you're just, you know, really feeling the transformative energy right now. Like you're going through... I'm going through changes. Um, but that's not bad. Um, if there's anything that's consistent in, in life, it's change, right? So, but us, uh, the fixed signs, us fixed signs, I'm an Aries. Um, but, well, I have a lot of Leo influences in my chat. And so when you're a fixed sign and fixed earth, that's why you guys are the most stubborn. That's why you're known as being the most stubborn and the bull. 
because earth is stubborn energy as it is, right? And then you get the fixed earth. So change for you may be a little hotter and, you know, try and go with the flow. Don't fight it, okay? That's a big message there for Taurus. Don't fight the change that's coming in. It's for your best good. It's a good, good change, okay? Big happy changes, okay? Um, I love it, actually. Ooh, shed old skin. Your person's going through some some stuff, too. I don't... I get thrown off by this snake cut because I think shedding old skin is a beautiful thing. Um, and, you know, I don't think that snakes are always bad, but there is, you know... I don't know. We'll see what else comes out. Ooh, someone wants to smush Taurus. <laughs> Who wants to smush Taurus? Um, could be a loving partner though, you know, who has already been smushing you. Um, but they definitely, it's, it's strong sexual energy with that stag. Um, but you can, they, I believe have very strong intuitive gifts as well with that. Ooh, they're a healer. Ooh, baby, baby. Definitely could be dealing with another earth sign here, Tur Taurus. Um, either they're another healer with this medicine guardian for me as a reader, or, um, they need some healing. Sexual healing, baby. I got that with another mix. It was the fire guardian and the, and the medicine guardian. <laughs> I don't know. I forget what sign that was, though. Damn. I hate when that happens. Sometimes the videos start to, like, blend together, and I don't know. A lot of times, like, you know, psychics, you've got to remember, guys, like, a lot of times when we're channeling, we're barely, we don't take in this information. It's, it's just, it's in and out, you know? And, um, oftentimes I don't even remember what I said in a reading, you know? And so be patient with us. Um, another, uh, another psychic had, I have a friend who's a psychic as well, and she described it as psychic amnesia. And I'm like, well, that feels real. <laughs> anyway, embrace the energy of peace. Yeah. Uh, there's some healing that needs to happen in this relationship. Um, and with the drop your shield over here and the embrace the energy of peace, um, I'm getting makeup energy strongly. But there he is. There he is. Didn't I mention him? The fire guardian. I love when that happens. And spirit fox. Woo. 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 Hot stuff. What's happening? Hot stuff. Oh my God, it's the most sexist, racist movie ever. Sorry, I quoted it. All right. Um, it's good, but I hate it. All right. Anyway, Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times in the, in the fire guardian. This got me all worked up though. I think I'm, I, 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 I feel hot. Uh, this person absolutely wants a piece of you, Taurus. This is yummy, yummy. Could be a fire sign or someone with fire and earth in that chat. Um, that's an interesting mix. I think I'd have a hard time if I had fire and earth in my chart. I like, what, uh, who am I? Um, and if you are someone with fire and earth in your chart, please let me know how you how you deal. <laughs> um, but yeah, this person's very talented. They are talented. They are foxy. They are sexy. They are uh, yum yum, and they want a piece of Taurus. So let's see. Let's see what else comes out. That's just on the 5D with the Oracle. So sometimes the Torah, the, the Torah, the Tarot will turn this whole thing around. Ooh, Taurus, your card with the four cups. Um, I think you're nervous about missing an opportunity with this person. And it could lead to like real commitment. Or Taurus, you're being a little too stubborn here. And you are going to miss an opportunity with this foxy foxy lady i don't know if it's a lady or a man but it just whatever this foxy person <laughs> foxy human <laughs> i don't know Ooh, but you manifesting baby so what's for you isn't gonna pass you by so don't get into this like uh fear of missing out energy however you may need to take some action actually um, with this, this magician here to make this happen where well, you're a foxy person. Woo! Yes! Yes! All right. Taurus. Taurus. 
Look at you. You're heading towards victory, all right? And I'm getting that this might be past energy. Like you feel like you may have missed an opportunity with this person already. And maybe you're getting a second chance. I don't see judgment here, but dude, this is beautiful energy. And you got three mages. So this is big, big. Uh, you are moving towards victory. And you're moving towards victory real fast, Miss, Mr. or Mrs. Taurus. Good job, baby. All right, all right, all right. I like it, Taurus. Keep it, keep it moving, boo-boo. Keep it moving for an earth sign. Um, you could be the one with all the fire on the earth in your chart, too. I mean, whatever you got going on, Big Baby. I just want to keep calling you Big Baby. I don't know why. Is that your nickname, Taurus? Is someone on here named Big Baby? It's a hilarious nickname. I love it. Ooh, okay. I do think this is past energy for you and your person. Um, this person experienced some huge shakeup. Could be dealing with the Scorpio too with all this like, this is some intense energy. This, you're dealing with an intense ass person and this is intense energy. So um, it, something happened between you two and you felt like you missed an opportunity with them or you two broke up or whatever. Um, I don't know, or some huge shakeup happened to this person. This could be a good tower. Ooh, Queen of Wands, Aries, Entergies. Ooh, Taurus, you got something going on with an Aries? With Scorpio in her chart or something? Um, queen of Wands can be a drama queen, all right? But she's also extremely sexy, extremely creative, extremely funny. I mean, I resonate with Queen of Wands energy, of course, because I'm, I'm a fire. I am all three fire signs, and I'm an Aries sun. Um, she's very, very creative, very, very smart, um, highly desirable. Who temperance. You could be dealing with a Scorpio Saggy Cusper, um, but... For Queen of Wands, I think because this Queen of Wands has been through a lot, she actually knows how to bring the, or he, you know, this could be a she or a he. I'm saying she, but they could really um, bring, like, a lot of patience to the table for, for a, a Queen of Wands, simply because they've been through so much. Um, this is a super high quality person. I really like them. They may have Sag in their chart, Aries with Sag. This is me, Taurus. I don't know any Tauruses though, like really like that. All right, ooh, Hermit, could be a Virgo too. Um, I do think that this person does spend a lot of alone time. Very, very spiritual, very spiritual. Um, they may be one of those people that is, that tempers their public eye persona with their private persona there this is someone who may be in the public eye um whoa moving quickly could be impulsive especially for a fire sign uh knight of swords is oh my god why am i drawing a blank mutable air mutable air gemini okay gemini um Wow, this person, okay. Okay, I'm getting a very specific message with this Knight of Swords. Um, Taurus, if you don't know this person very well, I think they have sort of like a Gemini, two different personalities. There's the, you know, maybe more public person who, you know, and then there's the private person. Um, and I think that, you know, if you're gonna really get to know this person, you need to get to know both sides of them. Um, but you can totally see victory with this person, Taurus. Wow. This is going forever. Holy crap. I am 14 minutes in and I'm only on the bastard deck. All right. Page of Pentacles. Uh, this person is working on the, their spiritual self right now. So they, yeah, ooh, five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I don't think they're going to be coming to you. The knight is running this way towards being more alone and independent energy. Um, but they definitely have a strong sexual attraction to you, Taurus. You look like you're the one who's going to have to make a move if you're going to make a move. Um, if you want to make a move. Oh, Taurus is conflicted. Conflicted over commitment. 
conflicted over what to do, I think. Um, which is interesting. It's okay, Taurus. If you don't know what to do at the moment, slow down. And don't worry about the fear of missing out. Because this person's got their own stuff going on. And I do think they're kind of wrapped up in their own thing right now and i think you do need a little time to sort out how you really feel and what you want chariot twice you could definitely have cancer in your chart in ace of cups you taurus you just want to keep moving towards victory towards love towards new love and if this is a past person where you broke up um with them it's you know and they're not coming to you um or they may i mean with this knight of swords and the page of coins they could offer up something really tiny, a light message, you know, coffee, something like that. Wow, six of swords. Okay. Taurus is on the go. And if this person isn't, I mean, this person certainly seems like the kind of person that could keep up. But you definitely, like, I think Taurus, you just want to be happy. Plain and simple. And you want to know if this person can make you happy. And they are a little all over the place. There's no doubt. Eight of Swords. Wow. This person does feel trapped, I think, um, a little bit. They may be a bit of um, an introvert at times and an extrovert at times. Seven of Swords. Yeah, and they don't let you know how trapped they feel by maybe even their own thoughts or their own feelings. Um there's a lot going on with this person. And I think that they're on a spiritual path that has had a lot of bumps. Eight of Cups, yeah. And I think that they feel forced to walk away from... They're not telling you that they're, they're walking away, Taurus. So you go towards new love. Because while the sexual energy is on point here, this person seems like a really good person. They've got way too much going on right now. I don't know, man. I don't know if I would, you know, this person with some of these cards. King of Cups, they care a lot about you, though. Ooh, with that, yeah. This person is not going to reach out to you, Taurus. So you're going to have to go to them. You're going to have to be the bull. Because they, they feel like they have... I feel like this person feels like they have come to you a little too much, Taurus. And they're, they're walking away from all the communication and they're going to just start keeping stuff inside. So you're going to have to be the one that moves towards them. All the action cards are on your side, Taurus. So you're, you're going to have to take some action. Ooh, buttons, buttons on the bottom of the deck. All right. Let's clarify with the new era elements. I'm feeling the new era. All right. Whoa, that's a lot. Come on. Give me some good advice for Taurus. Interference, yeah. This looks like you're going to have to interfere. You're going to have to do it. I mean, it does look like other people do have... Um, like other people may have talked trash about this person to you, Taurus which has made you feel a little funny about the whole thing. Whoa, that's very specific. I don't know. Um, but yeah, all you can see is victory with this person, man. And so who cares what other people think or say? You can make up your own mind. You're a, a big grown person. If you're watching my channel, you should be over 18. So um Oh, Taurus is ready to end some major cycles and head towards victory. And whatever that means for you, Taurus, you let me know. I would love to book a personal with you to see what all this, this means. Yeah, wow. This person's looking for commitment for sure. They want, you know, and it does look like they're on a very spiritual path right now, which a lot of times does mean a lot of ups and downs, you know, some weird shit. And um, you may need to 
Take the lead here, Taurus. Be the bull. Take the bull by the horns. You got this, Bebe. Okay, Bebe. Big Bebe. I don't know why I keep calling you that, Taurus. Big baby. Um, that's adorable, though. I like it. I don't know why. I think that's going to be Taurus's new name. Big Bebe. Yeah. All right. I got two messages here. This person either, and this is one that I'm getting really more strongly, more of this will probably resonate, which is why you're going to have to go to them. This person feels completely defeated, I think, by love and commitment, and they're just sort of done. They need a break from it, but I still think they would be open to commitment with you. Um, I'm not 100% certain they even know you care. So you're going to have to let them know because I don't think they know you care. All right. Comfort. You two find comfort in each other's arms. Is that an actual song? Or did I just make that up? <laughs> I don't know. Life is weird. I kind of resonate with this person, but not. I certainly don't feel this way about love. Um, or they've let, so this breakup though, could have also, I forgot, maybe the reason why they don't feel comfortable talking to you, you know, like you definitely, you may have to go to them. You may have gone mean, Taurus. Did you get mean? All right, travel, travel, travel with the chariot and the world, the universe. Move towards this person, Taurus. You don't, I mean, if you really care, you're going to have to let them know or you will miss out. For real. The spire. Wow. Uh, before you do so, take some time alone, though, because I wouldn't suggest going to this person unless you're 100% sure. Because this person is not to be, not to be fucked with. Okay? Um, Alright. I was getting a really, really raunchy rap song in my head, and I'm not going to sing it. Alright. History. Um... Oh, and now I'm getting Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> this person ain't nothing to fuck with. And I think all you have to do is look at their history to um, see that. They, but yeah, right now they're in the thickets, man. And they may need a little help getting out of them. But I don't know. This is a tough call. I would love to do a personal if this is resonating because this person is a little a little messed up. They have to heal their history, I think. Um, I think the past really does fuck with them. And, you know, ooh, choices. Looks like both people made choices here, though. So, you know, um, Taurus, interesting energy. You look great. And all this victory may be on the career front, so stay positive. Taurus got it going on. You know, and so that's why you may need to be the one. If you really want to talk to this person, you really want a relationship with them, um, you're going to have to approach them. There's no doubt. All right, Taurus. I love you. Take care. I will see you next week.